People do say waxing can make your hair finer, but I didn't find that really worked. No, I think that's a bit of a myth. Have you ever done that? No. Oh my hell. god, that's like a lawnmower of you. Oh that's my god, awful. no, wait, is that, um, not, what's it called? No, an epilator. Oh. Hell. <laughs> Actual hell. Oh my god, nothing beats the pain of an epilator pulling each hair out. What about sugar, sugar waxing or something? No, does that work? <laughs> I've obviously tried everything. No, oh god. Hence why I started laser. <laughs> Mahindra. And I'm Mandy Gill. Uh, I'm an actor. And I'm an actress. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. I've decided to have laser hair removal. Well, actually, I've always wanted it, if I'm honest. It's just, I don't know, growing up, like, you know, I'm Asian, as you can see. So we, I do have a lot of hair as well, so it's always been something that I've wanted to do. I have tried IPL in the past, um, but the results weren't permanent. Um, so I don't know, it's just always been something that I've always wanted to do, just never got round to doing it. And so yeah, as an adult, I guess you can actually find time in your schedule to go do it. Yeah, yeah, same, same for me. I've, it's been on my sort of list of things to do. Um, just for speed and for combating ingrown hairs and yeah just getting rid of unwanted hair in places that I was finding myself having to shave quite a lot so yeah I've always hated having to shave it's always been like a task yeah it's never just been like oh you know wash your hair shave your legs I've always gone I've got to go and shave my legs or I've got to shave for what you want to go swimming or anything you want to wear three quarters yeah I, I do have an answer, so, like, with work, there's always, like, a lot of lighting, isn't there? And, like, particularly when you have, like, facial hair or, like, arm hairs, I was so aware that the light could, like, catch it. And that's why I started thinking I started doing it, like, bleaching my arm hairs, was I thought I'd hide it a bit more because, I mean, I even hate if, like, I'll go for a costume fitting and it's got short arms. I'm like, oh, my God, I've got to yeah. shave all the time to do, to do that and, like... I, I was very, very aware yeah, same here. of my, like, of the hair that I had when it came to work and stuff. And even, like, when you go into makeup and that, you're always like, oh, I'm sorry, I've got sideburns. Yeah, so you're yeah, trying to make yeah. a joke of it. Like, yeah. I used to make a joke of like, oh, God, I've got sideburns. For me as well, before I started laser, if I were to start anything else, it was sort of never going to be permanent anyway, so I'd have to maintain it. I'm not very good with maintaining things. No. Like, we just don't have time We just don't have time. Like, I'm, I am very much, like, I don't really do my eyebrows. I don't really do my hair, so why would I then start something that I'm going to have to maintain? So I never did it, so it was, I'd go into makeup and be like, oh, I've got sideburns, you can see my sideburns, or like, I didn't want my hair pulling back really tight. Definitely, definitely conscious at work, but I don't know, for me, if I'm honest, I've probably always been self-conscious about hair because yeah, I, have. I was always, always like quite furry, if I'm honest. Yeah, I think we all are. I think we all technically are furry. I think everybody has like down, down, is it called down, down hair? Yeah, some down, down, down hair. Like peach fuzz. Yeah. Everybody has it. I can. I'm pretty sure. But you it's can lighter. See it, but like, obviously, it's coarser. Yeah. And darker and thicker. And yeah, that's always been something that's made me very self-conscious. Like you said, yeah. just wearing a short sleeve top would be quite traumatic. Yeah, like whenever <laughs> I shaved, right. This is really personal. Whenever I shaved and I got out of the shower and it got cold, my legs would get spiky. Oh my God, and it hurts. Yes, and then if I shaved my legs and I went in the cold, my legs would get really itchy. I would come back, take my jeans off, start scratching, and then I'd have all little dots, and I knew it's because I'd shaved and gone out in the cold. Yeah. Like, all the time I used to have like dots, dots, because I'd literally itch it like that. Like, you know when the cold gets in your toes? Yeah, it's totally. Get in the skin. But I hated getting out and then being prickly. I think it's because the little hairs would stand up and then like, because when you're cold they stand, stand up, don't up, they? Yeah, and then you took your jeans off and it just always, yeah. I, I always used to have rashes. little rashes, pink dots or scratch marks where I used to just go, come in it. Look at your hands, she's scratching her legs. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, that's 
a good question. Yeah, that's a really good question. Because I think there's some parts of my body where laser has felt like the least painful thing. And then there are parts of my body where laser has felt like the most painful <laughs> thing I've ever experienced. Especially as we're starting to get... Because I'm eight... No, I'm six treatments in. And some of the areas are getting a stronger laser put on them now. So it literally feels like someone is yeah. talking. But now, now you've said it and I'm comparing it to... Um, the epilator. I've never really waxed, that's just all messy, but I did try the, the sugar thing <laughs> that you do with strips and you go wash the strips and that, you know, so it's all messy. Sounds so but weird. because of when I shave and that I itch so badly, actually genuinely think about it, even though laser does hurt in parts, it's sort of like you get over it, you do it, you like put aloe vera on and then I actually forget about the pain. So I would actually put quite a lot of them if not all of them, under laser. And you'd think, because obviously sh the actual act of shaving doesn't hurt. No. It will get in out and then itching or taking your oh, jeans God, off. Oh, gosh, fat. It, yeah. I'm going to say, like, I think it could be laser shaving. I mean... As in laser? No, so elect electro, whatever that thing is. Epilator. Like, like, epilator. Hell. On the top. Yeah. Then, because of the effects of shaving... Shaving. Shaving. Because the faff. I actually didn't, I stopped doing it, I just was like, oh, don't look, I've got hairy legs, because it just was such a fat. Yeah. And then put laser, because laser does, some bits do hurt, I'm not going to lie, but you actually just put aloe vera and forget about it. Yeah. During it, sometimes I'm like, never going to do it again, I just can't do it again. Then you get up, you're like, oh my God, can't wait to see you next time. Yeah, <laughs> I might have a glass of things next time, I can't. Yeah, I think as well, the effect, the, the results of laser is so good that you can't really justify not carrying it on. Yeah. Like, my hair, I'm three full treatments in out of eight, and I very, I mean, I don't really have to shave between treatments. Actually, don't that's shave amazing. between treatments. That's amazing. It's, it's done so, but that's because I had quite thick hair. So it's just eight times you've got to clench your jaw and get through it, and yeah. then you're done. Oh, why don't I you just do it all kids? I know. <laughs> You do hear that it could grow back thicker and all that stuff, don't you? Just naturally, but not really because I've looked into it quite a lot and I actually know a lot of people that have had laser and always said how amazing it was, so I never really worried about it. I know I have also have an IPL machine at home because obviously I've got everything by the sounds of it and that can really hurt times which is why I stopped, because it's also like self-inflicting pain. Yeah. It's like, why am I going to yeah. get off the sofa and go <laughs> yeah. hurt, hurt myself? myself. <laughs> so I can do else for doing it. Yeah. So <laughs> I never really, to be honest, I think it was my only solution to getting soft skin. So you shave the bits that you can shave where the hair is thick enough that you can do it and for any areas that are quite fine, you wait for the technician to do it just so they can assess whether it is still worth having laser on it because it can stimulate growth, uh, further growth near that area of yeah. the um, So I usually shave the areas that I need to. Um, I do use hair removal cream as well in the areas that I can't get to. Um, and then I avoid the sun with painkillers. Oh, do you do? I did today for the first time. <laughs> I don't know if it helped that much, but yeah. Um, and avoid the, avoid the sun. Avoid the sun. Which is, so it's quite straightforward, really. What else? And also, you can't have it in areas which have recently been operated on either. Yeah. And you leave like six weeks between treatments, and actually, I've left much longer because of the pandemic, because of work, and I've never, I've never found that it's, I've never worried, to be honest, that I've left such big gaps between sessions. Because it's done so well, that I never, I never thought oh, I'm going to have to shave every other day in that time, so it's going to come back again. No, yeah. I just sort of leave it. I just have really fine hairs, and then I'm like, oh, that's a bit hairy. <laughs> it's fine. Um, so Ooh. after three treatments, I'd, without exaggerating, I know I'm going to sound like I'm exaggerating. I would def like. Definitely, definitely say it's like 80% minimum, 80% minimum like hair reduction in three sessions. Like, I won't shave my legs now until I don't know when ever. <laughs> I'll never need to shave my legs again because I'll have a treatment. What? Yeah. Like I can't remember the last time I shaved my legs. 
That's brilliant. Just like you get and like one here, one here, one here. And the one of the coarser areas as well, aren't they? But nothing like my arm. It's just so like soft, soft, soft. Yeah, my legs and arms took really, really well. I definitely say 80%. Oh, my armpits were really Completely good. Completely hairless. I mean, I ages. don't think I've actually shaved them. For ages. Well, since we started, which was like a year ago, because of how long I've taken to do the process. I just don't, it's like they're not my underarms. <laughs> <laughs> just don't forget about them. I would definitely say at the minimum is 80% for me. Yeah, um, I'd say about the same. 75, 80 yeah. percent, and and when it went, it stayed for ages. Yeah, so before it was well. completely headless, and then a few hairs come back from the next cycle, and they're really fine. Like this, all the things that you hear about epilating and waxing, about it making your hair finer, this definitely, if hairs do come back, they're so much lighter and finer. Um, laser hair removal feels like a, just a very convenient, good way of getting your personal hair management under control so it's not something you have to worry about later. Yeah. I don't buy any razors really anymore or wax strips or I haven't got Nothing. to worry about those things. No landfill no. Mm. issues involved. Um, yeah, it's just a good treat if it's what yeah. you want, if, if hair removal is something that you're interested in. Yeah.